The other day, I received an email from CEO of POM5, Tom Crary, who was writing to me personally to tell me that POM5 has joined Shutterstock. No, God! No, God, please, no, no! If like me, you're a POM5 contributor, maybe an exclusive contributor, alarm bells should be going off. No! No! Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna go over the email that he sent me, my personal opinion on what I think is gonna happen with POM5, and also I'm just gonna highlight some of the reasons that personally, I really like POM5, and as a con contributor, especially if you make videos for stock footage sites, why I think POM5 is a good idea. So first of all, let's get into the email in question. Over the past 15 years, POM5 has become a thriving community of millions of buyers and sellers interacting blah, 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 blah. We're so grateful that you have made the journey with us. Today, we are thrilled to announce a momental... Let me read that again. Hang on. I... <laughs> I'm learning Welsh, but I still haven't mastered English. I think maybe I'm about like 40% on the English front so far. We are so grateful that you have made this journey with us. Today, we are thrilled to announce a momental next step. POM5 has joined Shutterstock. Our combined reach is unprecedented in the media licensing industry. Now, that is probably one of the only small things that I think is good for POM5 contributors. Shutterstock is by far the leader. They have the biggest amount of customers um, in the world and therefore, at the end of the day, if you put stuff on uh, Shutterstock, it's gonna be seen by more people. However, this brings me to the main reason why I prefer POM5 and why I'm dubious to ever go onto Shutterstock and it purely comes down to simple numbers. On Shutterstock, contributors get between 15 to 40%, depending on how much they sell. I'm gonna talk specifically about video because that's what's personal to myself, and hopefully it is to yourself as well, but a lot of the cases, for if you're photography, I know POM5 also does, um, for example, like graphic design and um, music, I believe it's the same, but don't quote me on that, I'm talking specifically about video. On Shutterstock, like I say, 15 to 40% depending on how much you sell. Alternatively, POM5 gives their contributors 40% outright. So you might have stuff on all the different platforms and you get 40% of that sale whether you're on platforms on the other platforms or not. If you're exclusive, you get 60%. So that's what I am. I make one sale in that year, I get 60%. And also you can get up to 90% of a clip sale if the customer has been referred through you. On that note, <laughs> I'll put a link down below to my POM5 collections and if you're interested in pff, weird and wonderful things like man eats peanut butter, jam and cheese sandwich in Churchyard, then click on the link down below and you can get it. And to go through just some specific stats, so on Shutterstock, level one, up to 10, so that's in the number of licenses in this calendar year. If it's up to 10, then you earn 15%. 11 to 50, 20%. 51 to 250, 25%. 251 to 5,000, 30%. 5,001 to 25,000, 35%. Over 25,000 videos, 40%. So you sell one clip on POM5, you get the same commission as 25 thousand sales on Shutterstock. I can't think of a bigger you to contributors than that. <laughs> like, what? Yes, clips may sell for a little bit more, depending on if it's HD or 4K. Again, that, that depends. But the numbers are clear. POM5 treat their contributors better. And to give that even more context, I've been on POM5 for a year and a half. Out of that entire time, out of the sales that I've made, even if I did it for the entire time, I would still be at level two. I've sold less than 50 clips up to the date of me shooting this video. So I'd be on 20%. Another quick thing about POM5 that I love, which again, I've not, I'm not with Shutterstock. So please, if you're with Shutterstock and you haven't found this, please comment down below. One of the main things that I love about Shutterstock is their customer service. Every single time, I've had an issue on POM5 or had a question from them being my problem to me being their problem. Every single time without fail, 
I have had an email back within probably 24 hours, if not 48 hours. And then subsequently, I've always left the situation with it rectified, with my questions answered, with them helping me out. And that, again, is massive. And for me, that is one of the main reasons I'm sticking with POM5. So that could change. If, that's, if, if, if the team that they use to answer questions to all the contributors are now farmed elsewhere to somewhere that Shutterstock uses, that it's people who, at the end of the day, don't really care about the contributors. Another reason to potentially look elsewhere. So, oh, back to the email. Back to the email. Okay, so, additionally, POM5 and Shutterstock partner with biggest companies in the world, including Google, man, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that doesn't matter. We've got a big reach. We know that already. As a contributor, you do not need to do anything differently. Your content remains on POM5, and if you also contribute to Shutterstock, your content will continue to be licensable there. You should continue to upload new content as you would typically across both platforms. Finally, your payouts from both marketplaces will continue on their usual schedule. As you may be aware, POM5 and Shutterstock have very similar but not identical contributor agreements. Not very similar. Not at all similar. We have no immediate plans to amend our contributor agreement or any of the terms of use of our marketplace, nor does Shutterstock. However, that is clearly left open-ended. So for myself, that rings alarm bells because at the end of the day, Shutterstock's the bigger company. They potentially have more power in the say of um, how the companies run. And what that might trickle down and mean is that a POM5 contributor, in essence, will make less out of every sale. If, like me, you know, yourself, you're doing this to make a little bit of extra cash, it can potentially have the difference between making just something that's just a fun hobby, making you a little bit of extra cash and maybe even paying for itself to something that is now not worth it. What then do I think you should do? <laughs> it's quite strange. I'm a new YouTuber, so I've not generally been in this position many times. And I, maybe like every single person, when they put a camera in front of their face, why should you take my opinion? You shouldn't, is the answer. You should do whatever is best for yourself. That might be being on all of the different stock sites. That might be selling everything under the sun. Or like myself, that might be selling just video exclusively on POM5 because for various reasons, it suits you. The way I'm gonna go forward with this is that because I'm just on POM5, I'm gonna look at other places and I'm basically gonna, just like you would look if you were changing your, I don't know, your phone provider or your TV provider or something, you would look to see who gives you the best deal at that present time and often they might then fight between themselves to give you the best deal and you just go with whoever suits you best so if you're like me i'd look elsewhere and see if you can look for a better deal if there isn't that yet if pom5 is the one then stick with pom5 and if not then maybe go elsewhere okay thanks everyone that's it for today um i hoped you enjoyed the ramblings i have made other pom5 videos so um if you link up above and uh, in the show notes, I've also got links to a video that I did where I go over how much I earned in my first year on POM5. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because I'm going to be doing videos in the future about how you can make money, um, how you can make more money, <laughs> make money and then more money, specifically on POM5, as well as some other stock video um, idea related videos. Also, if there's anything else that you personally want me to do some videos about, whether it be about stock footage, POM5, or uh, maybe just a, making a bit of extra money out of filmmaking and photography, comment down below because it's probably one of the only things that we're doing on this channel, crafting and homesteading and all of that kind of stuff, that I feel confident in because I've got just over a decade's experience making films and uh, promotional material. It's quite nice to actually feel confident that my word has some weight to it Although I'm still learning, absolutely every day I'm still learning. Anyone who says that they know everything about a certain subject is, is just incorrect. That said, I feel like I'm somewhat helping people uh, by making some of these videos. And yeah, I'd, I'd like to do it more. Okay, right, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna get on the phone to Tom. Um, 
I'll uh, see you in the next one. Tom, 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 Tom. I didn't, I didn't, I honestly, I didn't tell them what 